Hey guys, welcome to Castle's Corner. I'm Coach Castle. Today we're talking about how to safely do the decline bench press and why you don't actually really need a bench in the gym for anything. So I'm going to give you a couple examples being the decline bench press because most people use that. Something like the front delt press. Again, you don't need a bench if you're athletically using your body, you're flexible and everything's healthy basically. Same thing with scapular retraction. A lot of people like to use a bench for the stability, but it's actually better if you're standing braced. Um, Lateral raises, people tend to use a bench for that as well, so I'll show you how to do it while also working your abductors, adductors, glutes, core, obliques, all these things, and also combining the back extension with a split the way that I do to save time and kill a couple birds with one stone. But anyways, let's just get into it. Uh, the first one today, I'll just show you how to safely get into a decline chest position very athletically. You just get your weights, you hop on the floor, you pick them up on the thighs, and then what you want to do is just roll backwards and thrust your pelvis up so you land in position. This requires basically no effort, and then you're good to go for the decline chest. Now a quick tip when it comes to the decline chest, you want to make sure that you're always keeping your forearms parallel with gravity, so think of them as being two little buildings. You don't want the buildings to lean, you want to keep them parallel with gravity, and also the dumbbell. When you're doing your chest, you want to remember that the dumbbell itself is also a lever. So hold it here, so the lever is longer over here, and there's more weight. It's actually going to keep a lot more tension and load on your pectoral, combined with keeping your forearm nice and parallel with gravity. Now let's move on to the next. Next one we'll talk about is the front delt press. Most of you probably use a bench for this. The reason is, in order to do it correctly, you want your elbow to go behind your back and go forward again. Now you can't really simulate this on the ground due to the fact that the ground's in the way. But you can if you arch your back while you're doing it. So I'll show you what I mean. Same thing. And then you're just doing your front delt presses like this. Now this version is good. It's not the best, but it is a good beginner's version. A more advanced version, if you were to do this properly, would be to allow your legs to fold behind you comfortably. Take yourself all the way back down to the ground. And then you can do your front delt press correctly, but in an athletic position. If that makes sense. I know that's not for everybody, it's more advanced, but it works really good. Uh, another one of my favorites we're going to go over now is the standing scapula retraction combined with a rear delt pull. So, uh, all you need for this is a wall, two handles, or two ropes, or whatever. Start off standing. Straight, arms straight, everything relaxed. Big step forward will be determined by how much load you want. The further forward you step, the harder it's going to be. Part one of the movement to bring your elbows back. Part two is to bring your shoulders to your spine. And then you're going to reverse it and reverse it. But make sure you treat this like a two-part movement, you go very slow, you take your time, but it's a good way to train your rear delt, your middle clap, your lower tramp, and also to work them in conjuncture together the way that they're supposed to. Next one I'll show you real quick is going to be what I call the starfish. Again, you don't need a bench, guys. Benches, again, just another piece of unnecessary equipment unless you want one. I don't like to use them because I like to train my whole body, my fascia trains, my tendons, my ligaments. I like to be strong in many different angles. So for this one, beginner's version, you would start here. 
and then you do your lateral raises, making sure you don't bounce, only lifting the upper arm and lowering it. More advanced, you go up on one arm, nice and straight, same thing. And finally, more advanced, you'd add the leg in there. And if you really want to take it up a notch, just throw an ankle weight on. Now, another one, I know a lot of guys, uh, they're not into stretching, they're not into plyometrics, gymnastics, they don't understand the need. Um, I have a lot of lectures about this, biointegrity, but you want to be flexible, athletic, able to drive power, explosively and slowly under control. You want to have a well-rounded physique and a healthy body. So a lot of these movements that I'm showing you are combination things, but intelligent ones where you're killing multiple birds with one stone. This next one, split the legs as wide as you can, grab your dumbbell for a back extension, comfortably put it on top of your head, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to arch your back forward, tuck your chin, try to make it down, arch your back, come out of it, and just repeat nice and slowly, under control. Now this of course trains your erector spino, but it's also a great way to work on opening up your pelvis, your glutes, your adductors, abductors, everything. So anyways, these are five of my favorite combination movements, um, intelligent movements, best ways to train killing multiple birds, one stone kind of things. You get the idea. But this is how I like to train. It's efficient. Just remember, guys, don't train traditionally. Train intelligently. Use biomechanics to your advantage. Use your knowledge to your advantage. I hope that you liked that video. I just wanted to remind you all, if you're able to and you support my work, please make sure that you like the video, you subscribe if you haven't already, you click the notification bell and you share this video or leave a comment to help the algorithm. Every little bit helps and I'm trying to get this information to as many people as is possible. And of course, if I can help you with any of your coaching needs, you need a running plan, you need a workout plan, you want to build mass, you want to lose weight, you want to do things correctly, you want a full education about your diet, your exercise, your respiratory health, supplements and everything else, just contact me at castlinprogress.com or via my email, castlinprogress at gmail.com. If you don't want coaching directly, just check out my Etsy store. It's linked in the description of all of my videos. I have all of my many books, tools, and everything else there. Or finally, check out my Substack. It's linked in a lot of the videos as well. And it's free, a free newsletter where I share the latest science, advice, exercises, and everything else for free. So thank you as always for your support, everyone.